If you're a fan of EDM, then M83 hates you. That's not really actually a clickbait title. It's uh, it's kind of true. So let's talk about it. On the eve of a brand new album cycle, Fantasy by M83 has recently just released this past week. And uh, there's been a couple interviews floating around with M83, obviously, with a bunch of different people. And in one specific interview on the uh, Consequence Sound uh, interview, M83 said something that uh, sort of was took people by surprise a little bit, I would say, especially in the EDM community. So I'm just going to read what happened here. Uh, the interviewer asked, uh, now with nine albums to your name, how difficult will it be to craft the set list for an upcoming tour? Which is a great question. Uh, and M83 responds with this kind of heady comment coming back. Uh, let's put it this way. There's going to be songs from pretty much every album except the first one, but otherwise we're going to play songs from every album. It's probably going to be more shoegazy electronic show bass. I mentioned this in an interview before, but it's I've always wanted to keep the fans of Midnight City away from entering, which I mean mostly as a bad joke. For me, the struggle with being a successful artist with the album Hurry Up, We're Dreaming, and especially with the track Midnight City, is all of a sudden I had this huge EDM following. EDM is probably one of the styles of music that I hate the most. All of a sudden, all these bro EDM DJs playing my music, and I just couldn't care less. Couldn't even care less. Sometimes I wish I could erase that fan base, but I don't think it's possible to do that. Maybe in a few days we'll see some apps that can do this, but yeah, we're going to play a lot of noise music and have some very ambient moments. Big drums, big guitars, big synths, big vocals. So that's a statement. I think of this entire statement, the big thing that people are caught up on is that specific line where it says, I wish I could erase that fan base. That's a pretty heavy thing to say. So I understand the sentiment of not wanting to feel like you have to make EDM all the time. And, I, and I'm sure, I'm sure people are begging him. Make more EDM, make more Midnight City, make more weight, make more of this style that we love so much from this album that is critically acclaimed and universally loved, make more of this. And so I, I understand that it can be quite annoying that over the years and years and years, people have been asking to do the same style over and over again and to have people come to concerts of theirs and, and say, we want to hear this and then not really getting it. And they're not really understanding that Midnight City is just one song from an entire catalog of their discography. And I think there's a big difference that I think a lot of people don't realize a ton or how people categorize it differently that electronic and EDM are very different. EDM is kind of like your, your, it is your dance music. It's the electronic dance music. It's the very, four on the floor, it's your kind of dubstep, it's your house where electronic can be a little bit more uh, spacious, a little bit more uh, unique, I want to say, a little bit more interesting in some areas. And so M83 is definitely more on this side, but I, it's, it's very fascinating to me that they're so here on electronic and just so don't like the dance music part of, of electronic music. It, it's, it's fascinating to me. Like just the fact they say that they're going to play songs from every album. It's going to be more shoegazy, electronic show based, but then going to say you don't like the EDM fan base. You're just adding two words, dance music, to the stuff you're doing, and it's a whole other group of people you hate and want to disappear. I that it just feels like such a far reach to me. So again, I, I get the wanting to not feel like you have to make a Midnight City time and time again, and I get the annoyance of, of people asking, I'm sure, to make another song like Midnight City. But like to say you want the entire fan base gone is absolutely bonkers. I've seen some hot takes around this where people are talking about how the EDM community is really what made M83, which made them popular. And that's that's too far. That's definitely too far. That is not true. I don't think in any capacity. I think that album made them made M83 blow up a ton, but it definitely wasn't the EDM fans that made M83 what they are today. They definitely helped in some capacity, and there's definitely a huge new fan base from specifically EDM that came off of that project, Hurry Up, We're Dreaming, but they definitely didn't make their career. And you know, I'd be shocked if MA3 didn't come back at some point and kind of walk this statement back in some capacity, but I would love to be in their shoes to, to hear all the people talking to them about how they should make this music and do this time and time again. It's just got to a point where it's so, so needy and so asking and so just annoying for them that they're like in a, in a phase where like, 
oh, I'm just done with this fan base. I, I want it over. I, I don't want to talk to them anymore. So I, I sort of get it. And maybe that's a bad time where there's a new album coming out. And I would bet that based off of the kind of early teaser we got with Fantasy, the kind of first chapter of it, that uh, a lot of people were saying, this isn't Midnight City. This isn't Hurry Up or Dreaming. This is, where is that kind of stuff? And so I'm sure after that, there's been some part of them that goes, well, I just want them gone. But again, to just say you want the whole community just erased is is absolutely crazy i'm honestly shocked in the end that artists like this don't really come out with a kind of soft uh sort of take on these things where i feel like oftentimes you'll hear artists that have an opinion like this they'll go oh i love the edm fans because they've uh really helped me grow in some capacity and and they really really love this one project of mine and so i appreciate them and all the support they love for that but and then from that point then saying but they do are they're a little naggy they they want this thing over and over again it's not really the style we do anymore so i wish they would sort of realize that that style was kind of a once and done or that it's a little bit different from what we do now and uh, they just they just went right to the meat of it right to the no no take them out we don't want them i don't like you so in the end i think this whole statement feels like opposing of each other, like to say they're gonna have electronic sounds and say they're gonna have big guitars, big synths, big vocals, and then literally right above that say, <laughs> EDM is probably one of the styles of music I hate the most. It just, I I feel like, I don't know if this thing is maybe taken out of more context and there was more, um, there was more to it here, but it doesn't seem like it is. It feels like a pretty in-depth quote from the interview. So I, I don't know. I'd, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, though. I um, <laughs> I I did see people also like returning their tickets. There were some EDM fans that I saw that were like, "Yeah, I've like I've I've refunded my MA3 ticket, and I don't want to go see them anymore." And that also feels crazy to me, where you're like so far on the other side. But I also get it because they say they hate you and they don't want you there. So if MA3 doesn't want you there, then why would you show up? And it's, I don't know, it just, it, it feels like this weird gray area that I don't think we really had, at least in recent years, where someone just said, I don't want you at the show. So um, let me know what you think, though. Uh, let me know what you think of this kind of quote of this sort of topic of M83 here. And uh, if you were going to go, uh, or would you, would you not go anymore? What do you think of the statement? But I'd love to hear any and all thoughts in the comment section below. But other than that, I'm Dakota from Bowtie Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.